Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to put a spare tire on your car. So let's imagine that you're driving down the road and you get a flat tire. You are going to have to pull over in a safe place and put the spare tire on your car to replace the flat tire. I'm going to show you exactly how you should go about doing that. So we're just going to imagine that this is the flat tire right here. It's obviously not flat, but we're just going to imagine that that is the tire that is flat. And we are looking at the rear driver's side tire. The first thing that you need to do is go into uh, most likely your trunk and find, uh, find the uh, spare tire and the tools that you will need to put it onto the car. So, like I said, in most cases, uh, the spare tire and the tools are in the trunk, but it might be different uh, on your car. So right here, as you can see, I'm just lifting up the floorboard in the trunk, and you can see that there is the spare tire right there all the way around, and there's also uh, some, there are also some tools. So there's a jack, there is also something to uh, operate the jack with, and then there is something um, to remove the bolts that hold the tires in place. So I'm going to remove from the trunk the spare tire and all of the tools that I will need. So I removed the tools from the trunk um, but there's just one thing that I wanted to point out with regards to removing the spare tire. Um, in most cases, there will be something that secures the spare tire in place so that it doesn't bounce around in your trunk or wherever it is, uh, wherever it is kept in your car. Now, in my case, there's this little um, piece right here that is holding the spare tire in place. So I'm going to have to turn it, um, in my case, I'm going to have to turn it counterclockwise uh, to remove this bolt right here and that will allow me to remove the spare tire. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is jack up the car. And to do that you will be using the jack and there will likely be another tool that you will use along with the jack and that tool will give you some extra leverage so that you can raise the car up a bit easier. Now you should definitely check your owner's manual um, to, look, to look out for the spot that is designed for the jack. This spot will be near the tire underneath the car and it will have some extra reinforcement and it is designed to be used with the jack. So once you've located that spot, you are going to place the jack underneath the car and use the jack along with the tool that will likely come with the jack to raise the car up. Now when you raise the car up, you're not going to raise it up to the point where the wheel is off the ground just yet. You're going to raise it up to the point where the suspension is, uh, has been lifted, but the wheel is still touching the ground. All right, now that I have raised the car up enough for the suspension to be lifted, um, but the wheel is still touching the ground, I am going to use the other tool to loosen all of the bolts that are holding the tire in place. Now, um, it is very important to not remove them or loosen them a, a, a lot. You are just literally going to take the other tool and use it just to turn them a quarter of a turn pretty much just to loosen them just like that sometimes you're gonna have to use some force to loosen them <clears throat> there we go so you're just gonna loosen all of the bolts one quarter of a turn <sighs> sorry I just had to lower the car a little bit more to get some more uh, leverage because the wheel will be um, will, more weight of, from the wheel will be on the ground and that will allow me to pull a little bit harder. 
just like that. Quarter of a turn each bolt. Okay, <laughs> now that I've loosened all of the bolts by one quarter of a turn, I can continue to raise the car higher in the air um, and I'm going to raise it to the point where the wheel is off of the ground. All right, now that I have raised the car to the point where the wheel is off of the ground, I'm going to use this tool again to remove all of the bolts and then once the bolts have been removed, I can actually remove the tire that should be flat. But remember, this is a hypothetical situation. This tire isn't flat, but the tire that you will probably be changing would more than likely be flat. So I'm gonna use this tool to remove all of the bolts and then I'm going to remove the tire. All right, now that I have removed all of the bolts, I'm going to place them to the side and I can remove the tire. And I'm going to place the tire to the side as well. Now I can get the spare tire and place it onto um, the spot where I just removed the flat tire from. Okay, now as you can see, I'm holding the spare tire in place with my foot, being very careful not to place my foot underneath the tire. I'm just using it to uh, press against the tire to hold it in place. And I'm going to just finger tighten all of the bolts back on. Now when you're finger tightening them, it doesn't really matter um, about the order that you do them in, but when you tighten them with the tool, I will be speaking to you about uh, a specific method to ensure that the tire goes on as flat and uniformly as possible. All right, now that the bolts have been finger tightened into place, I'm going to use this tool to tighten them a bit more. Now, when I use the tool to tighten them, I don't tighten them in order. Um, so for instance, I would not tighten them one, two, three, four, five. I tighten them in sort of a star pattern. Basically, you're gonna start with one bolt, just like this, and turn it um, two or three times. So you're not gonna go all the way. Then you're gonna do uh, the bolt that is across from that bolt. So I'm gonna go to this one right here. Then I'm going to do the bolt that is across from that one. So this one over here. Then the bolt that is across from that one, so this one over here. And then the bolt that is across from that one, this one right here. So now um, by doing that, I have um, basically allowed the tire to sit flat against the hub. And now I can do the same thing, but I can tighten them even more. Now, you're gonna want to tighten the bolts to about 90, 95%, 90% 90 to 95% at this point, and we're gonna tighten them to the 100% mark once we um, allow the tire to touch the ground again. This way we can get some more leverage. So once again, just as I said before, I'm gonna tighten them in uh, sort of a star pattern, so not doing ones that are next to each other and I'm gonna tighten them to about the 90%, 95% range. All right, 
So now that the bolts have all been tightened to about 90%, maybe 95%, I'm going to lower the car um, to the point where the tire is touching the ground and some of the weight of the car is being placed onto the suspension and onto the tire. So I'm just going to do that right now. So we're not lowering the car all the way, just enough so that the tire touches the ground and some of the weight um, from the car and suspension is, uh, some of the weight from the car is on the suspension and the tire. Okay, so now that I have lowered the car to the point where the tire is touching the ground and some of the weight of the car is on the suspension and on the tire, I can use this tool to fully tighten the bolts um, in that same star pattern that I had outlined earlier in the video. Um, they might already be, you know, really tight, but you're just going to want to make sure that they are absolutely tight and that you won't be um, worrying about them not being tight enough. So I'm going to start over here. <clears throat> And the final step, um, now that I have fully tightened all of the bolts, is to lower the car completely and remove the jack. And I will be done putting the spare tire on the car. And that's basically it. As you can see, I have put the spare tire on the car. And this is what you would more than likely do if you were driving on the road and you discovered that you had a flat tire. I outlined the entire process from start to finish. So if you have to put a spare tire on your car, just follow the steps in this video and you will be good to go. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.